assalamu alaikum my name is dr asad malik and today we discuss the topic name antibiotic classes okay what is antibiotic antibiotics are the medicines uh, or supplements which are used to kill the bacteria uh, and bacterial infection so there are some classes of uh, antibiotics there are eight and there is uh, first of all you have to learn the mnemonics the code words to uh, learn these uh, learn the names of the uh, of these uh, antibiotic classes first of all antibiotics its first letter a belongs to aminoglycoside okay antibiotics can protect the queens men servants and guards like uh, first letter aminoglycoside uh, aminoglycoside first letter c cephalosporins p penicillins t tetracyclines q quinolones and fluoroquinolones m macrolide s sulfonamides guards uh, g glycopeptide okay uh, now come to the first antibiotic that is aminoglycoside okay it specifically acts on gram negative bacteria and it kills gram negative bacteria and now examples of the uh, aminoglycoside streptomycin and gentamicin okay now come to the mechanism of action how it works it inhibits the protein synthesis in bacterial cell okay you yeah, now uh, you know the what is the difference between gram negative and gram positive bacteria first of all gram positive bacteria has a very large uh, cell wall and gram negative bacteria has a very small cell uh, cell wall gram negative bacteria has a t- uh, two membranes okay uh, by a phosphate uh, lipid layer okay now mechanism of action it inhibits the protein synthesis you know the protein synthesis is very necessary in bacterial cell so come to the ribosome which helps in protein synthesis uh, in bacterial cell there are two subunits of ribosome 150s which is upper and uh, second one is 30s which is a lower subunit dna give instructions to the ribosome to produce the proteins first of all dna give instruction and it produces amino acids and then it is it produces the proteins which are necessary so in uh, it inhibit the 30s subunit in ribosome so ultimately the protein synthesis is inhibited and bacterial cell destroyed now come to the second one which is c cephalosporins it Uh, both acts on gram negative and gram positive bacteria its examples are cefazolin and cefadroxil uh, there are two examples and it works by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis you know cell wall of the bacteria it is made up of uh, two types of molecules number 1 uh, sugar that is glucose and number 2 uh, proteins proteins are attached uh, by the peptide bonds so it uh, destroyed the peptide bonds by destroying uh, by destroying uh, peptide bonds it also destroy the cell wall you know the bacterial cell it uh, is a hyperosmotic so there are uh, more stuff in the bacterial cell so water move, wants to rush in into the cell if cell wall is destroyed water moves in into the cell and uh, bacterial cell destroyed it is uh, destroyed easily number third penicillins penicillins also both work on gram positive and gram negative bacteria but gram positive bacteria uh, is killed by penicillin g it is the first class of uh, bacteria uh, of antibiotics penicillin g so penicillin g destroyed the gram positive bacteria 
now gram negative bacteria cannot be killed by penicillin g but its second version that is ampicillin ampicillin kill the gram negative bacteria because it has a two membranes two cell membranes penicillin uh, penicillin cannot move into the two membrane pulse channels so ampicillin is lower in size so it can easily move into the pulse or channels so it uh, moves into the cell and it dis destroyed the bacterial cell and now there is a third class third type in penicillin which is methicillin it is a very broad spectrum and it can kill both the gram positive and gram negative bacteria methicillin is used in the last so if there is a resistance against these two antibiotics penicillin and ampicillin so if bacterial cell resistive to these then it will be destroyed by methicillin in the last so it works by inhibiting cell wall synthesis like upper one okay these two uh, mechanism of action are the same now come to the fourth one that is tetracyclines tetracyclines can kill both gram positive and gram negative bacteria okay tetracyclines has uh, examples tetracyclines and doxycycline now uh, it works by inhibiting the protein synthesis by on 30s subunit you know it is explain uh, over there it is the same process okay it inhibits the protein synthesis of 30s subunits the same now come to the uh, next that is quinolones and fluoroquinolones they both act on gram positive and gram negative bacteria the example of quinolones and fluoroquinolones is ciprofloxacin it is the example and it help uh, it acts by inhibiting the dna replication you know what is the dna replication the preparation and duplication of uh, another dna <coughs> for another cell so inhibits the dna replication by this uh, it kills the bacteria now come to the macrolide okay it is another class it acts uh, by killing the gram positive bacteria it acts specifically on gram positive bacteria which has a large cell wall so there is example of macrolide erythromycin okay it is the example and it also inhibit the protein synthesis but on 50s subunit that is upper subunit so it inhibits the protein synthesis in 50s subunit inhibition is same protein synthesis is blocked but the act, it acts on 50s subunit there is a difference now comes to the sulfonamides sulfonamides is another class which acts on both gram positive and gram negative bacteria okay the example of sulfonamides is sulfamethoxazole sulfamethoxazole it acts by inhibiting the fo folate synthesis in humans the folate uh, is not synthesized by our cells but we uh, take it from our diet so in bacterial cell they synthesize by their by themselves so it inhibits the fo folate synthesis by uh, blocking it so it will destroy the bacteria because it is necessary in some of the metabolisms now come to the last one that is glycopeptides glycopeptides uh, specific, uh, specifically works on uh, gram positive bacteria so there is example that is uh, vancomycin it is the example of glycopeptides and it inhibits the cell wall synthesis so it breaks the cell wall by destroying the peptide bonds so these are the some examples of and some description of antibiotics so it is just a introductive uh, lecture there is no detail but you have to uh, just uh, you can learn these things by this lecture okay sometimes a bacterial cell can uh, uh, resistive uh, against the antibiotics it uh, produce the uh, resistance 
but how it produces the resistance there is a beta lactam it is a antibiotic okay there is one square shape molecule and and there is another molecule so this molecule is a beta lactam so it is uh, destroyed by the uh, enzyme that is produced by bacteria which is uh, beta lactamase okay beta lactamase destroy this part so it takes the resistance and this is the penicillin penicillin molecule so it is destroyed by penicillinase penicillinase there is a enzyme penicillinase that is produced by bacteria so by destroying this uh, molecule bacteria produce the resistance against the antibiotics okay this is all lecture okay thanks for watching and keep visiting for more more lectures thanks